who is the boss? You got to teach people how to treat you. Not the easiest thing to do. People usually have difficulty with me when I teach them how to treat me. I show them that I'm the boss over what I do. They fuss and fight because they look back to the days when I didn't know myself, the days that were great for them, when my talents and gifts were used up, left me feeling screwed up with no credit or profit. People who use title roles for their worth have trouble with me being the boss of myself. I'm the boss, they say to themselves. I say, you have a title and a role. There are things you are required to do and lead. Why does that make you full of yourself? Don't you know yourself? Everyone deserves dignity and respect. A title shouldn't be the only thing to get that done. Who's the boss? Your great old days aren't so great anymore. Your privilege to take and not earn has got you living in terror. You cry your tears or you say out loud your titles every time you get a chance. You feel insignificant without one. All your pain and sorrows are right in front of you, always, and you are looking for someone to blame. Half the time you don't know the task that the team is completing. You hang on to every word that someone with knowledge is speaking. You take it to the people with the titles and they say that you are smart. You smile and you feel satisfied, but inside, you are enraged because you don't quite know yourself. You feel fake. You need someone to blame. You turn to look at someone else's less and you say to them, I'm the boss. You feel lost. You have a title. You have a role. You have some tasks to do, some places to go, some people to see. Respect is earned. You're not the boss of me. I lead my destiny. I see what needs to get done and I get it done. It is my responsibility to know my purpose and still do work. My worth is not tied up in task of making money in the land of milk and honey. That once my head bowed low and my back bent, giving some a false sense of security and superiority. I chop the wood and I carry the water and it is just what it is, getting this work done, transmute the pain and gain awareness. A word from Ram Das: we're all just walking each other home. It doesn't matter if you're living in a castle under a bridge, in a cave, in a mansion, on, a, on an estate, in the hood. Connection within, you are still good. Support without judgment is necessary. I shouldn't have to stand next to you for my worth. I deserve dignity for my birth. When it is manipulated and stolen, it won't be given back. You have to take it. Forgiveness with empathy, kindness, and compassion will get that done. Who's the boss? You know how to lead with equity, dignity, empathy, compassion, and you have the skills to know what the whole team is working on. You see the goals and you do your part and you delegate to others. You take the time to take care of yourself. Your cup is full and running over and your passion, kindness, and wisdom shines through. You know your worth and in that awareness, you know that everyone else is worthy. You value the people and your moral compass uplift their spirits. They complete their task and the whole team shines. You know when to promote because someone else's success doesn't make you less. You're the boss. Who's the boss? Listen, the next time you step to me, know this. I will still give you all the knowledge you need from me. It may elevate you still to the positions you desire. You know this, it doesn't make me inferior what your thoughts are about me. You thinking that you are you are clever in using me. You still need wisdom and compassion to be free. Until you rectify what you have done, your suffering will continue to be. Know this for sure when you step to me. I am not your Negro or your mental patient. I will not be shrinking to fit today. You make this look easy. Writing flowing out of me, vomiting up the disgust you try to spew on me with your words of disease because you try not to see me. You want to be the boss. What does being a boss means to you? I no longer think you know everything. I see through your tricks of taking what you want and leaving debris behind. When I asked for what I needed to do the job, you said I changed, casting the blame of your insecurities on me. My God, I used to beg you to see me, asking, why can't you see me? But now I know I have to see myself. Lately, I've been feeling myself. I see you pimping, setting up roadblocks with privilege, ignorance, money, policies, procedures, and policing to keep your foot on my neck. 
you owning your title and keeping it as your worth, that is your right. You are showing people the misconceptions of feeling insignificant, the need for someone to be less, for another to feel great, that is fake. You cause moral injury, but it doesn't matter to you. To see someone else hurting for you, it's a win. I couldn't pen this thing if I didn't know its origin. Been there, I've done it. This is all judgments. I see me, I see you. Why I'm making all these comments. I'm still a giver, it's apparent. You keep coming to me to take when you are in a drought. Nothing new to share from your own thoughts to give you clout to the people who to you count. We all want the same thing to be seen and heard. When status and titles is for your worth, it doesn't matter your gender, ethnicity, or color. You will always choose the status quo, validated by the majority, and money flows. But what is it to gain the whole world at the cost of your soul? The money isn't real. What a thing to say. Shout out to the people who take a second look. You are the change makers. You stand tall, heads high, and face all the naysayers. Thank you. Who this woman standing here now before you? I done unlearned the bullshit. Here I am, I got a glimpse and my perspective done shift. I've been beautifully created, perfectly imperfect, knowing where my strength lies. I see you're fair. You're afraid to be found out, caught out, but let that go. You only know what you know. Set yourself free from pretending. No, you can't have my creativity. You have your own. No, I don't have no money. That's never what you wanted. It's that freedom in my spirit, that rise in my back, that confidence in my walk, that smile in my eye, <laughs> the wisdom behind the veil. So you use the shame that kept it there. How are you the boss? Do you care about me or just about you? Did you really go there asking me to use language influenced by the DSM to move backwards for profit, to big up yourself? You use it and so you want me to use it too? Don't you see because of the color of your skin or economic background you are seen? You get sympathy and you think you could win? I tried that, it almost did me in. Labels and drugs left a broke girl dreaming, left to die slowly in poverty with no expectation from my beginning to end. Here's a little gift for me to you that took me decades to learn. 2020 said, learn it now or continue with your dreams deferred. Focusing on all the negativity blocks the creativity. It's like playing football and I'm always on defense, not getting to play the offense to move forward. A word from James Baldwin. Perhaps the turning point in one's life is realizing that to be treated like a victim is not necessarily to become one. This one here, just in case. One more time. I am not your Negro or your mental patient. I will not be shrinking to fit today. Who's the boss? What does a boss mean? I get to know myself, captain of my ship, observer of my thoughts, I decide my actions, I make my choice. Next time you step to me, remember you're no boss of me. Mama been calling, now I'm walking in my destiny. Thank you.